The process of giving my bedroom a makeover has been an ongoing labor of love, a project that has unfolded gradually over time. What started as a simple desire to refresh my space has evolved into a quest to create my dream bedroom. It has taken me several years to get to the point where we are now because I am one to overthink a lot of things. Over the years, I've added layers of personal touches, from vintage art pieces to cozy textiles and even a gallery wall. This process has been a very creative journey that's allowed my room to evolve alongside my changing taste. As it continues to transform, my bedroom has become a reflection of my personality, a place where comfort, style, and beauty intersect, making it an ever-evolving sanctuary that I'm proud to call my own. I love how light and airy my bedroom is. My bedroom has taken a while to evolve and it's still evolving. There's still things I wanna do in here, but I do have a very limited budget. But the one decision I finally made were all of the curtains for this room. We had been using temporary curtains, paper curtains that we put up because I cannot make my mind up on the curtains I wanted to put in this room. Ideally, I want custom made curtains, but they're not in the budget <laughs> yet. So I went on Amazon and just chose the curtains that I have in my eBay room downstairs and also in my office. I love these curtains. They're beautiful. They're not very expensive compared to, you know, Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, places like that. They're just a neutral curtain, but they're so beautiful. So we're going to install those now that I have decided what I want for this room. And then we're going to add just some finishing touches in here to make it feel more like fall. Hold up just a minute. Been looking for some help. Just to find myself yeah. Been losing my focus Like a thousand times before Can't take this anymore Cause I've been looking for something To change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long Yeah, waiting just for somebody To love and to surround me and to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something And if I close my eyes It's all been a waste of time I was out driving every mile And now if I've been wise It's all been a waste of time
I love this look for fall. I love how this turned out in general. The mirror, absolutely gorgeous. Love finding things like that at the thrift store. Everything here looks very cohesive together, but I do think I need some photos to go beside the mirror just to give it more of a layered look. But I think for fall, we accomplished what we set out to do, which is to make this space a little bit more cozy. But as we're out antiquing and thrifting, we are gonna keep our eye out just for some vintage pictures and paintings and beautiful Baroque frames just to go around the mirror. Look at the toile panels, how beautiful are those? I wanna find a couple of things to go around the mirror in the bedroom. That may be an option, I'm not sure yet. That is absolutely breathtaking. There's only one though, $20. I have some moody artwork like this in the dining room. Oh my goodness, that is just absolutely gorgeous. I love these. I have seen these in here for the longest time. They are $89, 30% off. I don't think, yeah it is, it is a painting, okay. Very pretty. I'm not so crazy about the color of the frames, but you could put a little rub and buff on those and you know make them a little lighter. But they are pretty. But uh, $89 a piece, uh, with even with what 30% off, yeah, can't afford that at the moment. But I do like the still life. I'm going for this look when I redo my kitchen with that kind of French country look. This may be a weird thing to pick up, but it's only $5 and it has texture on it. I don't care for all the pastels, but since it already has texture, this could be something I use to decorate somewhere in my home and maybe do a DIY just to make it a little bit more mine or my style. But I like all the texture that's already been done for me and it's $5 and it's a really great size too. I'm thinking it's probably like a 36 by maybe 18 or something for five dollars but yeah half the work's already done so i think we're going to pick this up and then in a future video you know give it a quick little diy how beautiful is that i don't really like the color of the frame but that's really beautiful i need something this size in my dining room i think with a different frame it would probably look even better 
but that is really beautiful. And that's $150. That's fantastic. When I saw this canvas, at first I was going to do some abstract artwork to put into the guest bathroom. But then I thought, maybe I'll just do something for the bedroom. And the image I had in my head from the inspiration I found on Pinterest kind of went a different direction once I got into the creative process. I looked at it, I didn't like it, I redid it a few times, but in the end, I really, really love how it turned out. Anytime I start a new project, whether it be just doing a little DIY artwork or styling a room, it usually ends up being just a little bit different than what I started out imagining. But I think that is the beauty of the creative process. artwork here in my bedroom. This little area is what I like to call an alcove. Over here is my closet. I use it as a linen closet and all my clothes, shoes, purses, things like that are in the closet in my office. Since I do get up before Mr. C, I don't like to wake him, so I just get dressed and do everything I need to do in my office. And then over here is the bathroom. It's a small bathroom and here in the middle is this vanity with this beautiful mirror you see. And there's a sink here. The sink doesn't work. Our home was built in the 60s. I don't know if that was kind of the thing in a master bedroom where the vanity area was separate from the bathroom. No idea. I just know I don't utilize this space. Um, and I know that I could use it a lot better than what it is now. I have tried using it as a vanity. I didn't like it. And I asked our plumber, could he just remove the sink? Because I thought, if I could remove the sink, I could just get a piece of wood, sand it, stain it, put it on top of here and just make it a flat surface. He said if he removed it, it would crack the top of this. And I can't remove the top of this to replace it without removing the mirror. The mirror is right on top. There's no backsplash. There's no space there in between. So I've been thinking and thinking and thinking, what could I do with this little space to get more use out of it? And my bathroom is very small. So I really want to use this space as part of the bathroom. And I did buy something at the um, thrift store probably a few weeks ago that I'm probably gonna utilize in this little space here. We've already started demoing it, uh, ripping up the carpet in this little area. And I would love to rip up the carpet in the, in the bedroom itself, but we don't have the flooring yet. So we're gonna look at the ugly carpet <laughs> until we get the flooring. But I'm hoping to get 
this little project done within the next few weeks. I'm a little scared that once I start ripping all this out of all the repairs I'm going to have to do. So it may take longer than three weeks, but we'll just see. But I think that this is going to turn into a beautiful, beautiful space that I can utilize and get more use out of than its current state. <music> 